So, hello guys, crazy Jacko here and Ziggy making the video footage and we are having a test today testing if the connection to the ground from the coax shield at the transformer box, if this changes anything here is the, the transformer box one guy said we should not put this under the or below the antenna feed points, but I mean this is nearly on the ground and it's everything so this is a little bit hard to do I mean it's not really directly under, it's a little bit on the left so here this is connected with this connector here we have two ground rods and we are testing one time transmitting without this and one time with several times, like always, same procedure uh, the antenna end fed 4.5 meter, uh, meter pole it's on both ends and uh, it's on the ground let's go there ah. here is my pole holder from the al aluminum and yeah, the two last elements are removed it's, all, it's a 6 meter pole no, it's only I think 4.5 meter without the last two endings and the one end of the end fed also this, this end, what is not on the transformer box is mounted like this, we never showed it, now we are showing it we have it this time with uh, yeah, like this it's winded back because it was too long it's quite a lot winded back, we had a SWR you saw it I think in the video, or I will insert it 2.3, quite bad but in general, this in end fed, if you compare this with the type ball, it's trickier to set up to get the better SW, the SWR. You need to put the ends higher. Also close to the ground, I think is it's tricky. So here the results in the Excel sheet. So this is end fed grounding at transformer versus no grounding. There was a joke on the transceiver side, keep this in mind. Like always the blue columns. Uh, the receiving signal to noise ratio numbers in the field, what we got, and the red ones are the receiving values from the station at home, what we got back. So the left two columns, this uh, is without the grounding, the right two columns with the grounding, you see, with the grounding, uh, minus 9.83 was 1 dB better than without the grounding, and for the uh, receiving numbers what we got back from the home station so this is more or less the transmi transmission is yeah nearly identical yeah not expected that there will be any difference with grounding or not grounding but this is these are the, the results it's like it is we can all make our own conclusions so thank you for watching this was it for today i wish you a nice day and see you in the next video bye bye